Happy Thursday, guys. It's me. Um, first, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to my YouTube channel last week and to all the wonderful comments and shares from the, on the, the video. Um, well, I didn't get a ton of comments on the video, but I got a lot of comments about the video. And um, that made me feel really good because I this has just been something I wanted to do for a while. And now that I'm trying to do this regularly, it really means a lot that you guys are on board, especially because that was the most random batch of stuff last week. And I, I should explain, it took so long for me to make a video last week because I was trying to actually make a video that's about the um, the blog that I posted on Tuesday about anxiety and feeling inv invisible and it all stemming from high school. And every time I tried to talk about it, I just started changing the subject. And finally, after two hours of footage amassed, I just decided to bl to vlog about the, the tangents and there you have it. So now you know why it was also random and why I kind of knew what I was going to say because I'd said it 15,000 times before. Um, also, I wanted to say that after last week, uh, I had um, some outtakes to go through, and there was one moment in particular that I knew I was going to make into a GIF because, why is it GIF, by the way? Um, I was going to make into a GIF because it was a ridiculous, ridiculous face. This one. It's kind of hard to see why I wouldn't turn that into a GIF because it's so I set up kind of a contest to see who could guess what was going through my head, what prompted that reaction. And not a lot of you entered, and um, but that's okay. And I said that I would send something um, off from my house, and I still haven't quite figured out what. I, it'll be cool. I've got some Star Wars action figures. I have um, some DeLorean Hot Wheels. I mean, I've got, I've got crazy stuff so um that I would be happy to send to any of the winners but um since we only had three entrants entrants um everyone wins um but here are the responses uh Mighty Hunter said that uh I had heard the sound of sparkles and glitter which I rather liked uh <laughs> Vader Mannion said that I realized I um <laughs> that I couldn't read his implied sarcasm font because this week I have taken pretty much everything he said absolutely literally completely missed the sarcasm and to whatever anonymous person wrote in uh, god I think it was a month and a half ago that um I'm not like Dean that I'm this weird mix of Charlie and Kaz yes I completely see why I'm Kaz now this week I had someone flirt with me realized after the fact that he was hitting on me and yeah and then um, with all the missed sarcasm thing, I'm turning into like fandom Kaz. I don't, I don't understand. But the winner, the winner is um, Dennis, who, who said that he assumed it would be like what would happen if I met Misha, as in Misha Collins. And um, he didn't just say that. He made a GIF set. Or GIF set, sorry, GIF set. This one. And I think you're going to see why he he wins, hands down. And the funny thing is that it's actually the funniest and the most accurate because um, dun, 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 I was actually talking about what it felt like waking up from the dream about meeting a celebrity. And in, in the case, in fact, it, I, it could have been meeting Misha. He was one of the celebrities that I went uh, in, in, in my dreamscape. That's just really sad. But it was that feeling of waking up with the anxiousness and um, 
feeling like a weirdo. So there you go. Congratulations, Dennis. Not only did you somehow manage to figure out what the heck was going through my head, um, <laughs> uh, you've succeeded in making me laugh more times in the last 24 hours than I think anyone else has. Um, other business. Um, I can't really say that much else has gone on. I've been doing a lot of writing, which is really good. Um, the incident I talked about where the guy was um, flirting with me and I didn't realize it. Um, I was at the bank. The teller was making some small talk and he asked if I was on my way to work. It was a simple question. And um, obviously I'm a stay at home mom. I, I write during the day when I'm not doing mom stuff. And so I said no. And then I paused and I thought, you know what, I am going to work. I mean, granted, I'm not getting paid, but I explained that I'm a writer and I'm working on a novel. And, and so we started talking about it. And, and here, here's the thing. Once you start talking to me about writing, any anxiety I have flies out the window because it's a subject that I'm confident about. I mean, I, I, my, my passion for writing, uh, that really made it easy for me to talk. And that... Um, and, and so I got really into the conversation to the point where maybe it seemed flirty, but it wasn't until the end when I realized he had already said that as soon as I got published, he would buy a copy of my book, which a lot of people don't say until they've known you for like a few days at least. Um, it just kind of struck me as odd. I don't know. Anyhow, I think that's about it for this week of randomness. Next week, I will actually have a vlog about something. Maybe. I don't want to be the Seinfeld of vlogs where it's like really about nothing but everything. There you have it, people. That's this week. I'm, I'm, I'm a little crazy. I should probably go. Hoping you guys have a great day.